everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is April and today I have Sierra Schultz here with me. She has a fashion channel that's all about body positivity and I'm gonna let her tell you guys more about it. Yeah, hey guys, thank you so much for having me. I'm so, so excited to be here. And my channel is all about fashion body positivity and uh, we did a video over there about how to thrift like a pro. April obviously knows everything about thrifting. Me, not so much. So she's kind of like teaching me how to do it. So if you wanna have some thrifting hacks, Make sure to check that out after April's video. In this video, I'm super excited to be doing quick fixes on Sierra because I know a lot of you have been asking for me to show different body types on my channel. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get started. So this is the first item we picked out. Sierra loved the color and the material, but the zipper doesn't go up all the way. And she would also like it if the length was a little shorter. First, I seam ripped the side of the skirt that doesn't have the zipper, and I only seam ripped enough to fit a triangle piece at the waist. After shortening the skirt, I cut out the triangle from the bottom piece and thought that by adding an additional piece to the waist, it would help it fit better. But after Sierra tried it on, it just made the skirt uneven, which was when I realized I would need to add a full section to the side of the skirt instead of just a tiny piece at the waist. I went to my fabric store and found something that matched the color of the skirt almost exactly and bought a small piece of it to add to the side of the skirt. You don't need to find something that matches exactly. I think color blocking the skirt would look great as well. I went ahead and seam ripped the entire side of the skirt and spread it out enough to fit Sierra's waist. Then lay the new fabric underneath and mark out the shape in between. I drew mine all the way up to the waistband and made sure to add my seam allowance and then cut it out. Next, sew the new panel to the side of the skirt. Then to finish off the top, I cut out a rectangle piece that is the same size as the waistband, including the seam allowance, and sewed it right sides together along the top. After that, fold the rectangle piece over to the inside of the skirt and tuck in all the raw edges and top stitch it down. You also want to make sure it's lined up with the original waistband seam. I also went ahead and top stitched the side seams down so it lays flat and is one with the skirt. Lastly, press the hem with your iron to make sewing easier and finish the bottom of the skirt. Here is what the finished skirt looks like. Every time I'm going out, the same things keep happening. New boy, same tricks. Coming close to me now, trying to be smooth. So here we go again, here we go again. You're trying to find your dreams and I don't like your cheap tricks. Take it somewhere else. 
This is the second item we picked out. Sierra would like it better if it was more fitted and hugged her curves. So I thought we could sew some darts underneath her bust and also take in the center back at the zipper seam. We also need to pull up the strap so it's not so low in the front. I went ahead and took out the zipper so I can adjust the back seam to make it more fitted. Then I re the zipper back into the dress. As for the darts in the front, the footage accidentally got deleted so I'm sorry I can't show you how I did it but the darts are called fisheye darts and they look like this. After I marked it to fit Sierra, I went ahead and sewed the darts closed which really helped to hug her figure more. Lastly, I folded the straps to fit her and top stitched it down without doing any cutting and I also shortened the length of the skirt and hemmed all the raw edges. What I love about Sierra is that she's all about showing off her curves instead of wearing something flowy to hide her figure. So I'm glad this was transformed into something that fits her style. Alright, so we are filming the after look of this dress. I think it looks great on her, but I was telling Sierra that one thing that like I learned from this transformation is that because she is so curvy that it fits her, but when it walks, a fabric rides over those curves. I think it's something for me to keep in mind next time. Yeah. But hopefully we get to do this again. Yeah, it fits my body differently than it would fit someone yeah. who doesn't have curves. Mm -hmm. And you gotta account for that in the sewing. Yeah. The third item Sierra liked was this floral off-shoulder blouse. She loves the print but doesn't like the loose flowy look and would like it better if we did something to cinch in the waist. Sierra has amazing tips on how to dress for curvy bodies, so I loved hearing her ideas on how to make something more flattering on her figure. I first marked where she would like the top to be cropped and cinched in, and then trimmed it at the markings. Since the back has an opening, I stitched the two layers together to hold it in place. Next, I took in the sides of the top so that it's not so baggy looking, and then to cinch in the waist, I stretched and sewed some elastic. To sew the elastic on, I like to first stretch and sew it along the edge with a zigzag stitch, and then I fold it over and hem it with a straight stitch. And that's pretty much it. Here's what the top looks like. The fourth item Sierra had an idea for was this stretchy black dress. She personally would like it better if it was a crossover crop top, which I thought was a great idea because a lot of dresses have very high waists that aren't in style right now, so I'm sure some of you will find this useful. First, I marked in the back where the new waistband will be and seam ripped the old one off in the front. We need to seam rip the waistband off in the front so that we can cross over the top more so it's not as revealing. I also will be tacking the two layers down to hold it in place. Using the skirt that was removed, I cut out a new waistband that will cover the front and back. I made it about 7 inches wide, so when folded in half, the waistband will be about 3 inches wide. Then I took in the sides to fit the top, but you'll actually want to make the waistband smaller than the top so that it can pull everything together. After sewing all the waistband seams closed, I fold it in half and stretch and sew it to the top.
You can sew the stretching material with a stretch stitch, zigzag stitch, or with your serger. And here is what the finished top looks like on Sierra. Not looking back, eyes on the freeway, Bonnie and Clyde, a classic cliche, we're on the run, this is what we waited for. Take my hand, we'll make it somehow, we can't miss out. The last item we chose for Sierra was this chiffon ruffled skirt. It already fits her at the waist and she loves the chiffon material but would rather have the skirt be high in the front and low in the back. The bottom of the skirt is its own gathered section that can be removed and raised higher. The only issue is that when we change the angle of the gathered piece, it actually requires more material to wrap around the entire skirt. We really wanted to make the high-low design work out, so what I ended up doing was gathering the bottom of the skirt enough to fit the layer that was going to be sewn on top. The easiest way for me to see how the high-low would look like was for Sierra to wear it while I pinned it in place. And then afterwards, I hand sewed everything together because it gave me less of a headache than trying to sew the chiffon material on my sewing machine. And that's it to this quick fix. Here is what it looks like now. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video inspires those of you to go thrifting. And if you're still afraid, make sure you guys head over to Sierra's channel to see what we did over there. Yeah, we gave some tips on how to thrift like a pro. Hopefully it'll make your first time going thrifting a little bit less intimidating. And I also have a lot of videos on my channel about how to flatter your figure. So if that's something you're worried about too, hopefully that can help. Make sure you guys subscribe to Sierra and show her so much love throughout this whole process that we've been working together. I learned that she is so hardworking and I can relate to her on so many levels. I brag to everyone about the, our collab. I'm always like, look at this girl. She's so talented. Aww. She has the coolest videos. So if any of you guys came from my channel, make sure to subscribe to April. She has the coolest and most unique content and I'm just so glad we got to work together. All right, thank you guys so much for watching and see you guys on her channel. Bye. Bye. I'm not perfect. This is my first time sewing on her and just um, when you're making alterations for people and stuff. Like for me, it's easy to make things fit the way I wanted to because, oh my gosh, yeah, there's a peacock, a white peacock. My body, it's really easy because I'm already there, obviously, so I can make the alterations fit me the way I need to, but um, this one's a little more challenging since, you know, you had to meet up and, you know, you only have a certain amount of time to make it look okay so I definitely need to work on that so I hope that we can collaborate again I'm out of breath my goodness so yeah so I hope that we can collaborate again just because I would love to you know um, improve from this round so I know it's not perfect but let us know what you guys thought down in the comments so and if you want to see us collab again we would love to and we'll see you next time Bye.